it's not zipped. Anything else you want to add about your expectations or fishing at all in general, Peter? Um, I am the best fisher. Oh, oh man! Let's oh. get you! Oh. oh, that's right! You want me to slap you? I mean, it is what it is. No oh. argument? Huh? No argument there? No argument. Hey, Paris, stuff that bag in your waders or a waiter pack or something. If you are gonna fall, make sure you let me know ahead of time. So I'm recording. Oh, it would suck if you fell in. Today, that is supposed to be 80. Peter, why don't you start? See that? Can you guys see like this? It's kind of an outside bend. The current's over there. That's gonna be deeper on that side, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you know it because we crossed it. So Peter, why don't you start like by this big tree? It's just kind of a flip in there because it's so short and narrow. <clears throat> and then we'll kind of work our way down. Farron, you can go just below him, like cast, so it kind of floats under this tree right here. And of course, whoever catches um, the first fish is the best. Giving you a head start. If you can cast just above the tree so it floats underneath. We'll just fish for a few minutes and move down. Well, I mean, I'd be down here. If I was ever homeless in Boise, this would be the area. What? Why not? I mean, I'd probably get by the river so that every night you have the water, like, helping you go to sleep. Huh? Hey, that person even left firewood. We might need that for our fire. All right, the water is moving pretty fast, so we gotta look for where it slows down. It's pretty quick right here. But maybe right up in here. You guys want to try this hole? It's gonna be a big fatty in there, Peter. Get ready. Were oh, you on the other bank, or you're like in the water right here? I'm in the water too. Don't cast the exact same spot because I'm sure whatever it is, it's still there. Did you? Like bump, bump, bump. Get him, pair. Come on, dinner's counting on it. I said dinner. We need it. We're counting on for dinner. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Feels like something we could eat for dinner. Feels big. Wow, look at that. I got the net on my shoulder. God, this feels heavy, guys. This feels heavy. Oh man, it's a beautiful brown trout. Beautiful. How do you want to clip it? That's good. Watch. Watch. This Watch. Thing. I wouldn't have to. Mm. You go like this. Look at that thing. You might be too big to eat. Too big? Here, get the other camera. Is there such thing too big to eat? I mean, depends who you're talking to, right? And we just, we thought, hey, there's got to be one in here. Get in there. Oh, there we go, huh? Food. Oh. Food. Okay. Say it, Keller. Say it. Say it. Well, usually we don't keep these big brown ones like this. Why not? Do they make more babies? They do. That's the problem. I mean, that's not the problem. That's why we don't keep them. But we can probably eat this one for you, Peter. Yes. Food. Sound good, Pear? It sounds great. Okay. Mm. Well, I mean, I've got something to eat. That's the problem. <laughs> you guys, I mean, you gotta get back to it. That's a nice fish right there. It's fishing. Yeah, I thought you were going to be this, Keller. We're gonna have a problem. <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> Even though it's not mine. We. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were walking back to the river. I need to eat fish. All right. This is the first brown trout that I've ever kept out of this river. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For you. We're not keeping, we're eating it. It would go to good use. Yeah. I mean, I feel a little bad, but yeah. Why? So I, I, don't, I, I don't know. They're, they're probably amazing. Huh? They're probably amazing. It's just my favorite fish, you know? You've never, it's your favorite fish. 
like favorite fish to catch. In the release? Mm-hmm. Because it's just kind of a cool fish. See, I didn't... In, the, in the game, you can't be having feelings like this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you got one thing on your mind, it's what are we eating for dinner? And yes. It happens to be that poor chap right there. What if you were homeless? I mean, like there, you said. It, yeah, what if? I'm not, though. <laughs> just don't name them. If you name them, then you can't eat them. Oh, there, yes, you lost them. All right, it's no secret. I normally let go every brown trout I ever catch, but I promised the boys a catch and cook. And that boy right there says, nope, we're gonna have issues yeah. if you let that one go. Can't let, can't so we're gonna start a fire here in a few minutes and I'm gonna eat something at least. All right, I'm gathering wood for, I don't know, the boys want to do a catch and cook. And I have never caught, I have never kept a brown trout out of this river. Not because you can't, you can keep six. It's a fish that I grew up not catching. So I feel like every brown for me is still kind of a trophy. But more important than my feelings about brown trout is these boys having a good time and wanting to come back. So I'm gonna start a fire cook up a 17 inch brown trout that inhaled a piece of shrimp and then hopefully go catch some more fish. Hopefully the boys get a few. You missed another one? Give him a pep talk, Peter. What's he gotta do? Eventually. I'd really like it if one of you guys caught one. Here's what I'm doing, Peter. Mm -hmm. I go through the mouth, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna stab it right up here towards the tail. I'm gonna wedge it in there. You can feel it going to the meat a little bit. Mm -hmm. and then you're gonna have a, a nice it. hanging fish like this. Yep. This way. So what we do, Yep. Yeah, we start putting some rocks around here. So the meat starts to turn like a lighter color. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna happen when it's cooked. It'll start pulling away from the bone. But you can see it's turning color, right? Yeah. It's cooking. Okay, let's get, I wanna rotate it a little bit, which is not always easy. Let me too. Just have to Look at that. That's ready to munch on right there, huh? Coming over, Pear? Yeah. Here's the moment of truth, Peter. We take the skin off like this. Ooh. 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 I take a little pinch. Oh, you already got some? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Where'd you get it? You grab it? In the fire. Oh yeah. Mm. Is it nice? No. No? You probably wouldn't like it. It's a pretty bad actually. Is it actually? Mm-hmm. Gross. It looks nice and ready though. Well, it's my first brown trout that I've cooked. Pretty good. Well, Pear, how was it? How was our first brown trout cooked over the fire? It's pretty good. It's a little raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's starting to get it even cooked. Sometimes we call it warm sushi. <laughs> I'm just really hungry. Never take a teenage boy's opinion 
on if something tastes good or not. I don't know if they have taste buds yet. They just have the open valve of putting things in. Like earlier, I saw him take a bite of the plate. He was so hungry. <laughs> but a beautiful evening. One fish so far. Good lucky I shared with you guys. All right, guys, how was the fish? It was delicious. It was good. Too bad, um, too bad you guys didn't catch it. Ah, uh, well. Anyways, there's our brown trout catch and cook, courtesy of me, because these guys didn't help at all. They helped eat it, that's yeah. true. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.